The search is on for a missing F-16 pilot who crashed in the Upper Peninsula. An F-16 assigned to the Wisconsin Air National Guard's 115th Fighter Wing crashed late evening in the Hiawatha National Forest. A search for the pilot is underway just inside Delta County and near Schoolcraft County. Uh, my wife and I are watching TV about 8 o'clock and a huge explosion shook the house. I, I thought maybe my garage has exploded, so I went out. It's 5, five o'clock this morning when I found out that the airplane went down and the pilot was missing. Authorities closed off access to the immediate area near Stevens Lake. Local, state, and national officials are on standby as the military conducts the search and rescue operation. The Department of Defense has set up a base camp to coordinate ground searches, as well as had two A-10 military aircrafts doing a low-altitude search of the area. The military has been pretty tight-lipped about what they called a routine training mission with one pilot on board. An eyewitness told ABC News that the sound from the F-16 engine seemed off and drew their attention. A retired Air Force veteran in the area said the F-16 was flying very low. And another eyewitness, who did not want to be identified, said the aircraft was upside down moments before it crashed. A source that was helping with the support operation said the F-16 most likely crashed north of Stevens Lake in or around Bog Lake. While only the military is officially searching for the missing pilot, Locals who know the heavily forested area are taking it upon themselves to provide volunteer assistance. Last night around 8 o'clock, actually 8.18, because I texted my mom, what was that? Um, we heard this very loud boom and kind of a rattling of the cabin that um, I'm staying in. And um, it, my mom actually is a veteran of the Air Force, and so she said it sounded a bit like a backburn of the jet. And then... We went out and watched the other jets flying around Gooseneck Lake, where we live, um, dropping flares, and we thought it was an exercise training. And then come to find out this morning that they were probably searching. And so, yeah, ever since then, there's been military copters and and uh, more jets flying around. And there's ground search parties as well. And I'm just trying to do my part and walk around the, the hiking trails that I know and see if I can find anything. I heard that the plane went down took my flashlight and mountain bike and started going out with a flashlight looking for the pilot. The remote area with little to no cell service was an obstacle. Additionally, the jet crashed in the 879,000 acre Hiawatha National Forest with trees that make it hard to see further than 50 feet off the main road. For now, the search continues for the missing pilot. Colonel Bart Van Roo, who is the commander of the 115th wing said, quote, we are a close-knit family, and when an incident like this occurs, every member of our organization feels it. He continued on to say the safety of our pilot, along with search and rescue efforts, are our top priority. And we will continue to pray for the pilot's safe return, end quote. At this time, the incident is still under investigation, according to a Facebook post from the 115th Fighter Wing. The military has not released the name or status of the pilot at this time. An update from a story we shared with you yesterday about an F-16 pilot who was missing after his jet crashed in the Upper Peninsula. Today, the Wisconsin Air National Guard's 115th Fighter Wing announcing the death of the pilot. In a statement, the 115th Fighter Wing Commander, Colonel Bart Van Roo said, quote, We are deeply saddened by the tragic loss, and our thoughts and prayers are with the family during this difficult time. Today is a day for mourning and the 115th Fighter Wing, along with the entire Wisconsin National Guard, stand with the pilot's family as we grieve the loss of a great airman and patriot." End quote. The crash occurred within the Hiawatha National Forest on Tuesday night. The cause of the crash is under investigation. Department of De Defense policy does not allow the pilot's identity to be released for 24 hours after the service member's next of kin is notified. The 115th Fighter Wing is planning to provide another update early Friday morning. Earlier today, the Wisconsin Air National Guard's 115th Fighter Wing identified the military pilot who died after his jet crashed in the Upper Peninsula earlier this week. The pilot was Air Force Captain Derwood Jones. The 37-year-old captain is survived by his wife and two children. In a press conference this morning, the 115th Fighter Wing Commander, Colonel Bart Van Roo, spoke about the impact Captain Jones' death 
had on the tight-knit group. An exhaustive search that began immediately following the aircraft's disappearance. It is with deep sorrow that we report that the pilot of the downed aircraft lost, lost their life in the crash. Our primary concern and focus right now is for the family of the pilot. The fighter wing and the Wisconsin National Guard are deeply saddened by this tragic loss. Our dedication to duty and the training that is required of this job develops a bond that, that is like no other. The loss of a member like this is a very difficult thing for such a committed group of professionals. Our sadness over this loss will dissipate but the scar may never heal. Yesterday, I did what every commander prays they never have to do. I was accompanied by our base chaplain as we informed the pilot's spouse and immediate family of the loss of their loved one.